In Algudu, the on-collide property is an event handler that is triggered when two objects collide with each other. It is a script-based mechanism that allows you to define custom actions or behaviors that occur when a collision happens between objects in a scene. The on-collide property can be applied to individual objects within a simulation. When two objects collide, the associated script code is executed, enabling you to perform specific actions based on the collision event. This could include changing object properties, generating visual effects, applying forces or triggering other events. By utilizing the on collide property, you can add interactivity and dynamic behavior to your algorithm simulations, making them more engaging and realistic. The scripting capabilities provided by on collide offer flexibility in designing unique interactions between objects based on collision events. The on collide property in Algudu has several uses in physics simulations. The on collide property allows you to detect and respond to collisions between objects. You can use it to implement realistic physics behaviors such as bouncing, deformation or object interactions when two objects collide. With the on collide property, you can trigger specific events or actions when collision occurs. This can be used to create complex interactions between objects such as activating switches, opening doors or triggering animations. By defining custom code within the on collide property, you can create unique physics effects when objects collide. This includes applying forces or torques to objects, modifying their properties or creating visual effects. The on collide property is particularly useful in game simulations. It allows you to implement collision based game mechanics such as scoring points, detecting collisions with specific objects or initiating game over conditions. In educational or scientific simulations, the on collide property can be used to simulate real world physics phenomena. For example, you can create simulations of elastic or inelastic collisions, analyze energy transfers or model interactions between different objects or particles. Our today's lesson is about the on collide property. In today's lesson, I will show you two types of codes. The first one is E dot this dot property equals value. This code changes the desired property of the object to the specific value when it collides with another object. The second code is E dot other dot property equals value. This code changes the desired property of another object that your object collides with. Let me show you this practically. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Create a rectangle and a circle. Now let's change the background color to black for better visibility and remove the clouds from the background. I want to change the density of the circle upon collision with the rectangle. So I will type e dot this dot property, which in this case is density. Then I will put the value which is 0 0.002 because at this value the circle will fly upon collision. Now press enter, play the simulation so that the circle falls on the rectangle. As you can see, its density changes upon collision and it flies in the air. In the second example, let's change the radius of the circle when it collides with the rectangle. You have to type this code in the on collide property. Let's drop the ball on the rectangle. Yes, the radius of the circle changes upon collision. In our third example, I want to change the density of the rectangle when the circle collides with it. For this purpose, you have to use e dot other instead of e dot this because this time I want to change the density of another object with this circle. So I use this code. Now drop the circle, the rectangle's density changes and it flies in the air. I want to have some text appear on the rectangle. Open the script menu of the circle and type this code. Drop the circle, the text appears on the rectangle. 
In another example, let's make the edges of a rectangle blurred. This is the edge blur property of the rectangle. To change its value upon collision, open the script menu of the circle. Type this code here. When the circle collides with the rectangle, the edges of the rectangle will become blurred. To blur the edges of the same object, you have to use this instead of other. Type this code for example. Drop the circle so it collides with the rectangle. As soon as it collides, its edges become blurred. What if you want to change the properties of both the objects in the same collision event? Let's suppose I want to blur the edges of the circle and at the same time have some text appear on the rectangle. To achieve this objective, you have to type two codes. The first one is e.this.edgeBlur, which blurs the edges of the circle. Also put another code that is e.other.text for the desired text to appear on the rectangle. Remember to put a semicolon between the two codes. You can put as many codes as you want by separating them with semicolons. Now let's drop the circle. As soon as it hits the rectangle, the edges of the circle will become blurred and the desired text will appear on the rectangle at the same time. I think this is enough for today. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, share, like and comment. Thanks and see you. Bye.